Welcome student. Let's learn about congruence and similarity. First of all, let's look at the definition of congruence. Two objects are said to be congruent if the objects have the same shape and size. For example, over here these two figures are said to be congruent because they have same shape as well as size while these two figures are said to be not congruent because they have same shape but not same size. Now let's look at the definition of congruent line segments. Congruent line segments are the line segments that have the same length. For example, over here, these two lines are said to be congruent because they have the same length, while these two lines are said to be non-congruent because they don't have the same length. So if two lines, segment AB and CD are congruent, it will be always represented as AB is congruent to CD where this is the symbol of congruency. Now let's learn about congruent angles. Congruent angles are those angles which have exactly the same measure. For example, over here angle ABC and angle PQR are said to be congruent because they have the same measure while angle A dash B dash C dash is not congruent to angle P dash Q dash R dash. Now let's learn about congruent polygons. Congruent polygons have the side of same length as well as the angle of same measure. For example, over here these two polygons are said to be congruent because they have the side of same length and angles with the same measure, while these two polygons are said to be not congruent because they don't have the side of same length but angle with the same measure. So we are going to say that ABCD is congruent to PQRS. So we can write down this as ABCD is congruent to PQRS where this is the congruency symbol. Now let's understand what is similarity. Similar figures must have the same shape but their sizes may be different. For example, these two figures are said to be congruent because they have the same shape as well as the same size. While these two figures are said to be similar because they have the same shape but not the same size. And we use this symbol to represent similarity. So always remember in similarity shape must be same, size don't matter. Similar figures have corresponding sides and corresponding angles. And these corresponding sides have the length that are proportional while corresponding angles of the similar figures are congruent. For example, in these two triangles ABC and triangle PQR which are similar, the corresponding angle that is angle A is equal to angle P, while angle B is equal to angle Q and angle C is equal to angle R. Also, the corresponding sides have the length that are proportional. That is, AB is to BC is to CA is equals to 
PQ is to QR is to RQ. Now let's see a question on congruence and similarity. Here we have to decide whether the following figures are congruent, similar or neither similar nor congruent. These are the two figures given to you and we can see over here that they don't have the same shape but they have the same size. So that means these are neither congruent nor similar because we know that congruent figures have same shape as well as same size while similar figures have the same shape but not the same size. Now let's try one more question on congruence and similarity. Here again you need to decide whether the following figures are congruent, similar or neither similar nor congruent. These are the two figures given to you. Now we can see that these two figures have same shape as well as same size. So that means they are congruent figures because we know that congruent figures have same shape as well as same size while similar figures have same shape but not same size. Now let's look at one more question on congruency and similarity. Here again you need to decide whether the given figures are congruent, similar or neither similar nor congruent. These are the two figures given to you. Now we can see over here that these two figures are same in shape, that is circular, while their size is different. So we will say that these two figures are similar figures because they have same shape but different size. So this brings us to the end of this topic. Hope you have enjoyed this session. Goodbye and see you in next session.